Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. The big weather headline is our next storm system, a potent one that is now organizing across the deep south, going to bring us some rain and eventually snow. Today was gloomy. It was a little chillier too. Didn't really have uh, much sunshine thanks to a system that was moving by just to our south. And we still have some clouds out there. We're going to continue to see those clouds with us, at least in some form through the overnight. That's a live glance in Carlisle. We're taking that peak over West High Street, glancing off to the uh, north and west. Quiet for now and farther to the north, we are actually seeing a little clearing as some drier air is trying to work in from the northwest. But upstairs in the atmosphere, we have a little bit of lift and that has sparked up a couple sprinkles here late this evening. All that working away from us and I think for the most part, we're going to be dry through the remainder of the night. But here's our system. This is the area of low pressure that is still putting down snow across Texas and Oklahoma. It's going to start to move toward us and eventually bring us rain and then snow. That's the story into early this upcoming work week. Tonight we're back into the middle and upper 30s for most of us. Some spots are a little cooler than this because of that clearing off to our north. That's kind of the exception, but most will be here in this range through tomorrow morning. We're back into the uh, upper 30s and lower 40s under a mainly cloudy sky. It's cool. You'll want a jacket if you're heading out early on. Maybe not your heaviest one in the closet. And then of course tomorrow that moisture is starting to move in closer to dinner time. It is going to be cooler, but still above normal with temps in the middle 40s near 50 as that rain starts to take over the region. We are down into the upper 20s in Sealands Grove. That's kind of the exception, but you can see most of us are stuck in the 40s because of the cloud cover. We're at a 46 in Gettysburg, 44 in the Red Rose City. We're now down to 42 in York. Now, as we progress through the next 24 hours, we are going to see that colder air eventually working into the valley. It's going to be a moderate impact event. It's still mild. We're going to have rain at the onset because of that, but then it starts to mix with and change to snow in the wee hours of our Tuesday between 4 and 7 a.m. I think it's becoming all snow. Most of us going to be in the coating to two inch rains. The farther north you live, expecting two to four isolated higher amounts are possible, especially on the ridge tops and especially farther to the north. Now we are seeing the potential for moderate to even heavy snow for a time during that morning drive. And I think that's where we're going to have the highest impacts during the morning commute. And that's when the roads will likely be the most snowy. We do have winter storm watches for that reason posted from Monday evening through Tuesday afternoon. We'll likely see winter weather advisory is expanded farther to our south. Now in terms of the timing, predictor will show it through tomorrow, we're seeing the clouds. Here's some showers developing by dinner time. Through the late evening, we start to see the rain picking up in intensity. And by the wee hours of our Tuesday, 430, the pink, that's the mix. That's the rain and snow. Snow to the northwest. Eventually, it becomes all snow coming down heavily right through the morning drive. It's out of here by lunchtime, but not before putting down that coating to two inch swath here in the white for the bulk of the valley, two to four for our northern neighborhoods, then heavier amounts closer to I-80, four to seven. But some new data here in the weather center that we've been keeping tabs on is showing a trend. We may have to adjust these amounts and push some of that heavy snow farther to the south because of the low tracking a little farther to the south and east. That's something that we've been watching all evening long. And of course, make sure you join Christine in the morning for our latest updates. Now, our News 8 Storm Team 10 day forecast does show a drier Valentine's Day. Brisk, it's cold, upper 30s. Thursday, another clipper moves in. This one could bring us some hit or miss rain and snow showers. Not a ton of moisture. It's chilly overall through the remainder of the 10 day, expecting maybe a few rain or snow showers over the weekend. And then by President's Day, we're back in the 40s dry ahead of another potential system, McKenna. So it's certainly active over the next 10 days. All right. Thanks, TJ.